All right, what's up guys? I got my 02S six-speed manual finally. It's come out with a, a 2019 Jetta with a 1.4 TSI engine. The gearing in this is actually really excellent for a Mark IV TDI. It has the same 3.39 final drive. Uh, fifth gear is pretty close at a 0.77, where the stock one was a 0.756, and the sixth gear is a 0.625. The cool thing about this, it's basically the same architecture that the original 5-speed has. But being that this is in a much newer generation car, there are some differences that make this unable to be bolted in as is. Uh, first thing you'll notice, there's no vehicle speed sensor. Normally right there in the casting, we would have a vehicle speed sensor. Um, that would also mean there's going to be no gear on the differential for it. But that is something that can be installed on the stock uh, differential. Uh, the other thing is, there's no top dead center pointer hole, which was pretty important when you're doing timing belts on an ALH. Um, other things are also the bolt holes for the shift bracket that holds the cables to the top of the transmission. This one is probably in about the exact same spot it is on the 02J that's in the Mark IV. Uh, this one is actually way too far back on the 02J. It's more like on either side of this bolt. And I believe this one is a little bit further forward. So these two are on the bell housing half. This is the back casing half here. This is the same for the whole transmission. Uh, the one, first thing I've done is with the original shift tower still in place from the 02S, I put on the Mark IV style levers. Actually, I have another 02S down here. So you have, uh, these are the original levers that came on the 02S that, um, this lever here is at least about the same as what the Mark V has. The Mark V does not have this plastic lever. It has a metal one, but it's the same basic principle overall. So it does look like, at least using the Mark IV levers on the 02S shift tower, that'll work just fine. And actually just shifting this on the transmission, it feels a good bit more precise and maybe a little quicker than what the original um, 02J shifter does. So couple of the challenges I'm going to have, obviously. The two casing halves here, I'm not going to be able to use. I have to use a 02J case. It won't necessarily be this case, but this is at least illustrating the difference. You can see how the bolt hole on this half of the casing, instead of being way down here, it's all the way up here. And this one has moved forward a little bit. Um, on the 0A4 and 02S case, it's back a little bit further. Um, and then, of course, you have your vehicle speed sensor hole right there. Um, other minor changes, you'll see this casing, there's no bolt that sits right here. On the 02S, there is. That's actually for the reverse selector kind of upper bearing support. And the probably biggest challenge of all, you can kind of see where the pinion bolts into the case here. This is actually a much smaller um, Part of the housing on the 02J than it is on the 02S and late 08-4s. This is much bigger. This bearing do, is actually completely different on the 02S. So um, somebody else has actually tried to do this swap already and they found out that the end of the pinion shaft is actually one millimeter larger in diameter than it is on the 02J. So I will have to take that pinion shaft with all the gears and everything stripped off of it to a lathe and machine off that one millimeter diameter so I can put the Mark IV style bearing in there to actually fit it into the 02J case. But other than that, um, this should be a really interesting project. It's complete teardown of a couple transmissions to make it work in the Mark IV, but um, it'll actually drive really, really nice when it's all said and done. And some of the primary things that I like about this build, um, these this family of transmissions, the MQ250, as Volkswagen calls it, both 5 and 6-speed, they seem to have fewer issues with their synchros, uh, especially when you convert to single-mass flywheel. Um, the other thing was that uh, obviously the axles are easier to find. The clutch and flywheels are much more available for a Mark IV and a good bit cheaper than they are for, say, the 02M 6-speed. And, uh, yeah. Should actually be a pretty good swap. This is actually a 02Q 6-speed out of a Mark 6. And you can see 
the two housings here. It actually has two pinion shafts, so this is a completely different architecture, uh, substantially heavier. Oh, and also, this is your slave cylinder. That's one piece with the throwout bearing, and they are very well known on the 02M and 02Qs to leak, and of course you have to remove the transmission to replace it, whereas on both the 02S and 02Js, the slave cylinder just bolts into the very top here. Two bolts, very easy to come out. You don't have to remove the transmission, and they've proven to be very reliable. So in some sense, this, once completed, would actually be a more reliable, less problematic six-speed than a 02Q or 02M. Um, at least from the standpoint of just flat out reliability. Obviously, this, this is the MQ350 architecture, the 02M and 02Q. Uh, they are stronger transmissions. They do hold more torque, but if you're not going to drive it hard, if you're not going to make a ton of power, this will overall prove to be less problematic. Um, the 02M and 02Q also have proven to have issues with their selector arms, at least in the early original versions. These, this is the selector arms off of this is actually from a zero a four five speed this is the zero two j six uh, five speed and um, these virtually never go bad only if you kind of keep your hands on the shift lever do you might see uh these tabs can wear a little bit but overall i've seen you know open up a number of boxes with well over three hundred thousand miles and they still look perfectly fine um speaking of looking at these two you can kind of see a difference here the very top rail here this is actually for selecting fifth gear, and you'll notice that there is no cutout here on the 02J version. The 0A4 has a cutout here, um, as well as the 02S. The 02S will have the same setup. Um, but what's interesting is, obviously, on the Mark IV, they have this rail as what limits you from being able to select sixth gear. Um, but then when you get to the 0A4 five, five speeds, um, the selector is going to be the same if it's a 0A4 or a 02S 6-speed. So they actually change internally the shift tower, which can only be replaced as one assembly. You can't actually separate the shaft and this housing like you can on the Mark IV. So this housing changes between the 0A4 5-speed and the 02S 6-speed. And inside of it, there is a mechanism of some kind that prevents the 0A4 5-speed from being able to select the 5th gear position. So... When doing the swap, what I'm going to have to do is obviously use the 0A4 shift fork assembly, and I'll probably just use the um, 02S um, shift tower right here, just because I also kind of like the improvement in shift feel that this gives, and it shouldn't be a problem to bolt it into the 02J case. They're at least the same bolt pattern. The bolts are spaced out the same. The only thing that's slightly different on the 02J, you actually see this little notch right here, the 02J has this kind of goofy spring-loaded cup that'll slot into there. The uh, 0A4 and 02S does not have that, but uh, that's fine, obviously, because everything else is dimensionally the same. The 02S uh, shift tower will just drop right in. I was going to definitely take some time to do this swap, but um, I'll be pretty stoked when it's all said and done. Um, so, yeah. Follow along. I'll try to document everything I can as far as uh, getting these torn apart, getting the uh, shaft lathed down, as well as getting all new bearings installed, getting the uh, preloads checked and shimmed properly, and then you check with friction torque, um, the beam type torque wrench, how good the preload is, see if you actually shimmed it correctly as a good double check. And uh, sometimes you have to redo it just to get it in the, within the right range. Uh, but yeah, once it's all said and done, this will be a very nice two-drive transmission. I'll get some pretty excellent fuel economy, and I'll still be able to use the original five-speed clutch and flywheel axles, starter, the whole nine yards. I won't have to swap any of that stuff over. So, pretty interesting swap. Um, yeah, we'll see uh, how this goes.